All right, instant request time. I just had somebody request this on the YouTube channel, so I'm going to knock this one out right now for you. Apparently, uh, people are studying scatter plots uh, in Algebra 2, so let's show you how to do scatter plots on the prism compared to 83. All right, so here's my 83. You go into Stat and to Edit, and put in my data. One, two, three, four, five. That's in list one, list two we put in, uh, let's go with nine, eight, seven, six. Okay, I'm sure your teacher went through this. You go into second step plot, turn the plot on. You're selecting a scatter plot from list one and list two. Uh, zoom stat, which is zoom nine. There it is. Your regression line, here we go stat, calc. Linear regression, either four or eight, uh, depends on who, which uh, class you're taking. Probably four. And to do the whole cut and paste, you do list one, comma list two, comma vars, y vars, function, y one. You can tell I've done this a couple times. There it is. My diagnostics are currently turned off, so I'd have to go into the catalog and turn on the diagnostics. Make sure that I've got my R value. So just to show you what that looks like, I'd have to go into the catalog, diagnostics, have to scroll down here. Again, you probably went through this in class already, but let me just show you the real quick way on how to do this. Diagnostics on, there it is. And then I could second enter and redo my last calculation. And then hit graph again, and there it is. All right, so now Casio Prism, um, very nice. Uh, this is going to go into the Stats menu. Go over to the Stats menu. Picture plot. You reserve the picture plot to do uh, math on pictures. So we're going to go do statistics. So you want to go into the Stats menu. All right. Again, you're going to put your data in. One. Two, three, and four. And list number two. So just like your TI there, I'm going to put nine, eight, seven, and six. So there's my same data. Whatever your data sets happen to be. The sub means I can actually put names in there. So if I got different names for my X list and my Y list, you can put those in the sub. Formulas work similar to the 83. You'd have to go to the very top and put in formulas there. All right. So now I wanted to make a graph. So there's my graph under F1. So I just press F1. Let's set up the graph. So I want to go into F6, set up my graph. It says I'm setting up graph 1, which is OK. I'm setting up a scatter plot. Here's your different choices. X, Y line, normal probability plot, pie chart. You got your other, your histograms, your median box plot, your broken graphs, etc. Some of the regressions you could possibly make, even more regressions. So we want to make a scatter plot with list 1 and list 2. Frequency is a 1. Mark, you can leave the mark as it is, or you could change the mark. Color link is a very cool piece of technology that if you turn on, you can actually link uh, the numbers with uh, different colors. We'll leave that off for now, and I'll do a video later on where we actually do that. The graph color itself is currently blue. All right, so we'll just exit there. That's all set up. Now you just press graph. There is no need to set the window, no need to do any of that. Now if I want to calculate a regression, you're going to press F1. To calculate. What am I going to calculate? Well, I'm going to calculate an X regression. And to match the one your teacher did, AX plus B or A plus BX. Again, there's no need to tell it where the information is. You set that up in the graph. It's only going to that. Here's my R value, my A and B. I want to copy this information, so I'm going to press F5. I'm going to copy it right to my Y equals editor and then redraw it and it's going to come back and redraw it. If you want to do predictions, go into your G-Solve. Well, let me exit out of this part right there. 
exit out one more time. Let's go into G-Solve. So I want Shift G-Solve. I want to do a Y calculation when an X value is a certain number. It'll jump to that. You could also do traces. So you name it, you can do it on this uh, graph as well. So whatever you can do on your 83, you can do on your prism. So again, notice it's saying the regression there. You've got everything that you could do. You're doing it from the stats menu, and you're going right in from there. So hopefully this helped. Hopefully it's not too late, and uh, good luck on your test.